on, everybody? Josh Wilson, and we're in studio at the Big Dog Podcast. My man, Jonathan Mack. What's up, Jonathan? Nothing much. Just hanging out. Nice, man. Hey, look, real quick show today. I want to talk to you about something that I'm super passionate about. And um, this will actually be our third year doing this, Jonathan. It's called Clear the List. And for the last, this will be year three, uh, last several years in August, you know, we start doing some pushes on social media, some posts, and we ask for people to tag their teacher friends, administrator friends uh, who are in the school systems. And Amazon has this great thing where teachers can go and build out a uh, wish list and it's materials, supplies they need. I think um, I can argue with a lot of people about a lot of things. The one common thing I don't think anybody would ever try to argue with me about, I know I sure as shit wouldn't argue with anybody about if I didn't agree with what I'm about to say is that uh, nobody would say that our teachers are over uh, funded or over resourced. And so we, we've all heard stories. Hopefully you have, but you know, we're teachers most of the time, overwhelming majority of the time, they're the ones funding all of their supplies. They're the ones putting together you know, the, the stuff for their classrooms, you know, particularly I think about when my kids were in, you know, elementary school and stuff, those classrooms were completely crazy decorated to be really appealing to the kids. And like, I think about the, the reading nooks and the art corner and the cool pictures and, and stuff on the wall and different things that made it a fun environment rather than a cinder block gray wall. Yeah. Right. And so it's, you know, teachers, they're spending their money to do this. And now, in fairness to the school districts, they may a lot some money. There might be a small stipend to, you know, each teacher. Um, but, hey, when I'm saying teachers are underfunded and under-resourced, I, what I'm saying there is so are the school districts. Yeah, it's like, a it's a nationwide issue in terms of education and teacher pay but this is something that everybody likes to say well we got to pay our teachers more well this is a really tangible and definable action that you could take to help teachers you know? right and that's what we found and i think that's a big reason why there's always the excitement behind it i mean it is thousands and thousands and thousands of people are sharing this and commenting and tagging their friends i mean all over the country and so the kind of the cool thing is, as we've grown over the last several years, we've got locations across the country. We, I mean, last year we were clearing lists in Iowa and Wisconsin, here in Virginia. We had uh, some people down in, in South Carolina. I think Colorado was one of them. I mean, we're, we're all over the place doing it. And because the thing is, it, you don't have to be a client of ours. I just, I choose them at random. And so what we do and what we have done in the past historically is over the course of four or five weeks, you know, we will go and we will pull off the post a random list and we'll log into that Amazon, you know, list. And we're going to spend up to a thousand dollars clearing that list, you know, for that teacher and it all gets shipped straight to them. Boom. It's done. Like Merry Christmas. Awesome. We're out. We love you. We appreciate you as a teacher. We're happy to help. Um, what I hope happens, and there's no way for me to really, you know, quantify this, but what I what I hope is happening, though, is that as people are engaging with these posts and they're seeing these teachers' links are posted, and it's awesome because teachers will come in and say, hey, I'm in my fourth year, or I'm a first-year teacher at such and such middle school. And I'm like, oh, God, help her, you know, or I'm a 20-year, you know, teacher and stuff. And they'll tell their stories about where they're at or their kids or why this would be you know, a blessing for them to get this help. In my mind, the, the spirit of all this is like, yes, we're going to choose somebody each week. We're going to go clear that list up to a grand. But the spirit of why I'm doing it is not to be like, hey, we're doing this. It's I'm hoping, Jonathan, you're clicking on somebody's list and maybe you're spending five bucks buying a book, right? Someone else is scrolling along and they click on someone's list. And it's like, you know what? Let me let me get these colored this box of colored pencils you know, for this, for this lady, you know, or let me get, you know, these dodgeballs for this PE teacher, you know, and that the spirit of it is as a community, we come together and we help these teachers get some of their stuff knocked out. I wish, you know, we were in a financial standpoint where it's like, Hey, these lists aren't even necessary. Just, you know, 
email me and tell me what you need, <laughs> right? I wish that's 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 how I rolled. I think people want to think that that's not the case. Um, but like, I I wish I would just here you go, you know what do you need? You need five hundred dollars. Here's five hundred. You need seven fifty. Here's seven fifty. You need three hundred. Here's three hundred. Like I wish, but as a unit, we absolutely can have that type of impact, and actually greater. So. Clear the list is back, everybody, and clear the list. We'll be going live um, on social media tomorrow uh, with this. And, well, for right now's purposes, you'll be hearing this the day after we've gone live on social, um, you know, with it. And we're going to be pushing this. And so if you guys haven't seen it on social yet, check it out on Instagram. Check it up on, on Facebook, all the off-leash canine training pages of mine, um, and share the posts. Tag people you know who are in education. You know, because and even if they're not a teacher and they wouldn't personally have a list, if they're in education, if they're an administrator or, or something like that, they know somebody who has a list and they can tag them and get them involved. Yeah, 100 percent. And the one thing that I will say is that some of the teachers that had the biggest impact on like me fundamentally as a kid and, you know, me as an adult now are teachers that I didn't even have a class period with, but took the time to take interest in me as a person. So even if it's not a teacher that you might know or a teacher that your kid might have, it's a, it's a phenomenal way to reach out because yep. almost every teacher could use something uh, and it'll definitely help somebody out in the long run. Yeah, absolutely. So, you know, keep an eye on this. And then each Wednesday we'll be going live starting on next Wednesday, the 10th. Um, I'll be going live and announcing who the winner is for that week. Um, this year though, in our third year, we're going to do a little bit different. You know, we've always picked a person each week and, and cleared the list this year. Um, we're going to up our game a little bit. We're going to choose two teachers. So each week we're going to choose two teachers and we're going to clear their list up to a grand. And so over the course of the five weeks, you know, my team and I we're committing to $10,000, you know, over the next five weeks to clear the list of our teachers. And I'm not getting choked up about it. My throat just got a little, <clears throat> excuse me. Sorry, guys. Sorry about that. Um, my team, my family and I, we're committing to that $10,000 mark to clear these lists. And I would ask you to come alongside us and join us at whatever level you feel comfortable at. Right. And this isn't, hey, let me Venmo Josh some bucks so he can clear this or let me drop a check off at the office or do that. Don't don't do that. Don't do that. Be even lazier and just click on one of the links and add it to the Amazon thing and check the heck out. And it's going to send it straight to him. All right. But, you know, if if we all just do whatever part we're comfortable with. You're going to change lives. I mean, I hear all year long throughout the year, I get messages from teachers that we've helped. It's so cool. Or I'll get a message from somebody. We'll get, we get cards and stuff. Hey, Josh, that was my sister. You chose, you don't know me. I live in freaking whoever, wherever, Indiana, you know, but you, you know, you chose my sister, cleared her list. She's a second year teacher. This is what's going on in her life. You know, her kids mean the world to her. And she, it would have been very difficult for that situation to happen. Had we not stepped in. And I think about how many more people that I never even hear about that we were able to help because as a, as a community, we're all coming together and you guys are clicking and buying and supporting these teachers. And I don't even know anything about it. Yeah. And I mean, these teachers, I feel like they do so much outside of just teaching. Like a lot of them coach sports teams, a lot yep. of them lead clubs and extracurriculars after school. So you never know where that dollar, where those supplies are going to help out. Yeah. And it help it helps out a lot. It helps out a lot. And um, if you're a teacher and you're listening to this and your list is, you know, sitting a little weak right now, you know, hey, you need to bump them numbers up. Those are rookie numbers. Get some stuff in there, you know. And, and I don't care. You like Diet Coke, sis? That's how you survive off Diet Coke, Coke Zero. Man, put that junk on there. We'll get it We'll get it sent out to the house. You got to keep your stash. You got to get through these days. These kids are bad. Let's be honest. Kids are bad, Jonathan. I'm a former English major. I, I'm aware. It's why Bro, I'm, I mean – Help out some of my friends. I look, kids are bad. And so our teachers, our educators, they're, they're, they're saints, they're, they're angels, not all of them, but 
the vast majority of them are really, really great human beings. And we just got to, you know, do our part to help them out. So I'm really excited to do this again. We'll be announcing it. Uh, like I said, when you're hearing this, we actually just did this yesterday um, on social. And so I'm excited about it. It is one thing we look forward to uh, for the last several years. We're really passionate about it. When Devin and I first got married, she was a teacher for a couple of years. And you know, I remember the effort she put into her classroom and the work she put in. And look, school might get out at 2.30, 3 o'clock, y'all. These teachers are not done. I mean, they are, they are working tirelessly. And, um, you know, this is just a small way that we can help them out. And so, you know, I want to thank, you know, all of our clients, you know, that are, that continue to support us and, and trust us with their pets and invest with us so that we can turn and, and do something like this, you know, for our communities and, and give back and help. And so I challenge all of you to figure out a way to do that as well. So we're clearing the list, everybody, um, starting Wednesday, August 10th through Wednesday, September the 7th. That'll be the last week that we do it. So keep an eye out on social media. We'll be pushing this weekly. Make sure you're sharing the post, tagging people in it, um, clicking links, you know, buying some pencils, crayons, whatever. And teachers, build those lists up. Build those lists up. What It's a wish list. Yeah, you got the stuff on there that you need. But if everything that you got on there that you need, you know, just gets you to four or five, six hundred dollars $600, man, what... I'm glad you got what you need. Put some stuff on there. You just flat out want get that thing up. Cause it might be you. It might be you. And if it's you, I want it to change your year. I want it to make a huge impact on you and change your year. Cause if our teachers guys, bottom line, if our teachers aren't stressing funds and resources, they're better focused on our kids. So let's help them out where we can. And we'll see you next time on the big dog podcast.